now we're going to take a look at calculating z-scores. Here we have a table of customer sales, uh, given the total number of customers being 30, and we have the individual sales for each of the customers. What we're going to do is we're going to calculate a z-score so that we can standardize these scores to determine how far from the standard, how far from the mean they are in terms of numbers of standard deviation, as you'd seen in the previous video. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to calculate an average because we need the mean. We're going to take the average of our total sales. When we do that, we get 41.97. And now what we need is we will need to calculate the standard deviation. Again, we're going to use the standard deviation sample of our entire sample set, and we get 28.50. Now, in order to calculate the z-score, we have the formula here to the right. And what we're going to do is we're going to basically take this value and we're going to subtract our mean. We're going to put that in parentheses so that we're able to use it on the, as the numerator. And then we're going to divide by the standard deviation. And we end up with 1.3464. So this means that 80.3 is 1.34 standard deviations away from the mean. So it's standardizing all of these numbers. And if we had another set of customers, uh, we could actually calculate z-scores for them, and we can use it for comparison between one set and the other. So since we need this B36 uh, locked, we're going to lock this here, and then we're going to lock B37 for the standard deviation. And that just, again, anchors those two uh, because they're not going to change as we copy our formula down the whole way. And you can see here that we have, uh, again, 1.34 and 0.13. And then since 4.94 is to the left side of the mean down here, then we were able to realize that that's negative 1.29 standard deviations away from the mean. Now, to calculate our z-score using Excel, we're going to basically use the standardized function here. We take our x value, which is the total sale. We will put in our mean, and we will put in our standard deviation and we get the same exact answer. What we'll do is we'll anchor this again, and then we'll take that and copy that all the way down to get all of our z-scores for the entire data set.